And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Burton Albion, and they take on Huddersfield Town. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start. Be accountable for your own performance. But above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Well, so many positives where the hosts are concerned, and one positive is a watertight defence league. Well, as you know, Derek, I love a good back four. Solid, reliable, dependable, mean. I could go on, but that's how you build the base for any team to go on and do something special. Hours and hours on the training ground, learning about your partners is the only way to learn the art of solid defending for me. And so the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. And he's made headway, and foiled by the post. Danny Ward. Well, in one of the other games, the referee I'm hearing has pointed to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty for Reading. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes, strike. Oh, and he's dinked it down. And he's through here. Must be. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And Alan McAnally is at the ready. There's been a goal at the Hawthorns. Tell us more, Alan. It's a goal for Reading. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Ayala. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce... Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And offside it is. And news of a goal in the Villa game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Dangerous looking attack. Is it going to be? And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. 
Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. So, 2-0 now. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Oh, borderline offside, but correct. The hosts have really controlled possession. It's important to have strong, dominant play. And in with a real chance. Surely. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. I believe there's been a goal on the Aston Villa match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAdally. It's a goal for Derby County. 28 minutes played, 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Adam Krojek on the offensive. Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, a solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And let's join Alan McAdally because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the West Bromwich Albion match. Alan. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. 35 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAdally along the way. Careless in possession. Oh, he's given the ball away. Can they get in behind them? Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Good tackle. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Might be a chance here. Will he? Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And there it is, the half-time whistle. No doubt about it, the home fans will be the happier of the two league. Well, they've scored the goals in the first half with some lovely creative football. Can their back line secure the three points in the second half? 
It's what they normally do. I think it's done and dusted, Derek. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Jackson. Brown. It's with Juninho Bakuna. Right, let's change gear because a goal has been scored at Villa Park. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Aston Villa. 48 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Giving the ball away. Over the touchline for a throw in. Well, this news now confirmed as far as Inter are concerned. They've got their man lead. Well, the fee is around. Now, will they do it from here? Well, body in the way. <laughs> Corner kick played in. Well, not the best clearance. It might be on for them. Alert defending. An attack full of promise. He could pick out a teammate. And he takes it on. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. O'Neill, please meet your wife at the ticket office. Thank you. Adam Hlozek. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded. away well, the attack carried promise but petered out real he's in here it has to be surely superb save from the keeper well that's what you're paying for defenders defend goalkeepers make saves like that And over comes the corner. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Janinho Bakuna. Well, this is the home of live football and more live action from the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Burton Albion facing Reading. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. And news of a goal in the Villa game. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Derby County. And he's broken free. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard.